Hello, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the U.S. GAT, GAT, GAT. Finally, you go to submarines, United States, and then here you go, the Gato, Gato. Here we go, it was used in World War II. And it has 10 533mm torpedo, two, one 127mm cannon, and two 40mm flak cannons. Here's the flak, here's the uh, gun, and then up on the front is the torpedoes. Here we go. It's an interesting looking ship. They definitely put some work into it. So, yeah. There's that. It's a decent sub. But remember, that doesn't have tracking torpedoes, so you'll actually have to accurately point it. But remember, you don't have to start the engines. You can automatically... You can turn up and down the throttle with W and S, and then that can go specific speeds. Passive sonar is where you just kind of listen into the environment, and active sonar is where you actively release pings and then hear them when they bounce off an object. This shows your depth. That This is for your gun, and you can set your speed here. So say I want to just go 10, uh, which don't. And then, there. If you scuttle, it just ends your ship. Zero to go into combat. One. Q for flares, they don't actually do anything. M for torpedo makers only works on tracking torpedoes, obviously. And there's for the gun. You can see how it can travel normally. Here we go. But then when I set it to 1, and since now it's an auto already, it won't go higher than that. And there you go. And fire with X. F for the... Um, 30 millimeter cannons, which is a bit odd because F and R controls the depth of your submarine. So, there's that. And B for torpedoes. You can follow the gunshots before. And that's how you follow. And your torpedoes. As you see, they're not tracking, obviously. And you can fire quite a bit, but you have to actually aim them. Yeah. So, it's, it's an interesting ship. It has torpedo tubes on the back, it looks like, which is interesting. Be honest, that's an interesting choice. Anyway, it's a decent sub. It goes decently fast, and it's it's good, especially for like World War II role plays and stuff. As you can see, the guns can traverse underwater, but they can't fire, and you don't need to actually reload the torpedoes. They do that automatically, so you don't need to worry. And then you see cavitating are just these bubbles. It's when bubbles uh, pure on the like propellers. So when that turns off, it should stop bubbling. Like at least that's what cavitation is. I don't know if it actually makes stuff stop on the game. At least I'm um, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, it should. It's just when bubbles appear on the propeller. Anyway. Yeah, there we go. There's the torpedoes. Yeah, yeah, and it has backwards facing ones, which is, like I said, an odd choice. But I guess it works. You can see those explode. Hope you enjoyed, and see you next time. And here's a scuttle. Remember, if you're in combat mode and get fired at, it will put you in combat. So if you get hit or anything like that, it will. you'll just have to go through the entire sinking animation.